It's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com. Happy Halloween if you celebrate or if you have kids and you go out with them. Uh, we don't have kids and we don't dress up anymore, you know, we're getting a little older now. But we we do always stock the house with candy and all the little cute children and their pets and stuff come in costumes, so it's pretty fun. But um, if you do celebrate, more power to you. So. I figured I'd do a little bit of a, a different thing than I normally do, especially because I, I usually, well, I've only been doing this a little over a year, so I don't remember what I did last Halloween. Um, but I wanted to show some of my favorite Sega CD titles that I guess would be considered horror, horror, but they're really not. Um, I don't think uh, Sega CD really has a horror title, to be honest. There's nothing that's really scary, um, but there is stuff that's based in the horror genre, so I figured I would just touch upon it real quick. Um, these are my favorites and probably the only I can think of. So, here you go. First and foremost, we'll start out with, uh, everyone pretty much knows this one, Night Trap. Uh, this is the original release. They then did a blue boxed one, and the blue boxed one was, uh, I think the re-release with a couple of minor edits. But, uh, great game. I really love this game. This was the thing that brought on the ESRB ratings. The reason that it would kind of be considered horror is uh, it's an FMV title where you capture these bad guys in a house who are trying to um, suck the blood out of these women. Which is sort of like vampires because there are characters in the game that are vampires that are bad. I think they're the... well, I don't want to ruin it. But um, the, the characters that suck the blood out of the woman with that main scene that everyone has seen at this point, um, they're called augurs. They dress in all black and they have these big long like pole arms. And they grab them around the they grab them around the women's neck and they suck the blood through these like tubes, um, you know FMV game. It's kind of it's it's very very similar to Double Switch if you've played something like that. And uh, this is actually edited. Uh, the original piece of art is a full body woman in a like lingerie nighty type thing. Uh, they took that off the cover and wouldn't let them release it. So uh, just recently, I think the the real original art went on uh, eBay. I think the uh, the owner or the guy who the artist had sold it. Um, then we have another FMV game. Again, this isn't really scary. Uh, Corpse Killer. Corpse Killer is an FMV shooting game. Uh, I covered it fairly recently, I think. Um, I don't know if this is coming out in another case. I don't think it did. But, uh, it was, it, it's all, uh, you know, FMV shooting. These zombies kind of fly at you on the screen and you shoot them. Um, you have to go through different areas and then get to this guy named Dr. Hellman. Who uh, you will know him. He's an actor. He's pretty pretty well known actor. I don't know if his picture's in here. And uh, yeah, here he is. I hope you can see that right here. He just died pretty recently, actually. Um, he's in a lot of those like horror movies. Anyhow, he um, he's like some doctor on an island who made all these zombies, and you're supposed to like go in and kill the zombies and then kill him and stop him from spreading the disease. And you're infected as well, so you're looking for the antidote. Cool game. I like it. One of, one of my favorite Sega CD titles. Um, let's go with now... Well, let me put this up here for a second. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now, Bram Stoker's Dracula is a uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up kind of platformer. I don't know if you can really see it. It does have some FMV sequences from the movie, which is cool. Um, I don't really like the game too much. I find it to be rather difficult. It is cool how they, the kind of... Uh, interwoven the, the scenes, the FMV scenes from the, the movie. They are grainy, obviously, because it's on the Sega CD. But the side-scrolling fighting mixed in with these like kind of cool, dark scenes. Um, it's not scary, really, but it's interesting. Especially if you're a fan of the film, it, it might be good, but it, it's pretty difficult. I remember not liking it because it was very hard. Um, and my my uh, last two... F and Keanu Reeves is in it, obviously, from the, from the movie. I, think, I don't know if they show his face in this. I think they do. I think Gary Oldman's in it. I don't remember. So, um, I mean, it's the FMV from the movie, so I guess they must. Um, one of my other favorites, uh, which is a two-pack with Bram Stoker's Dracula. I've seen it separate, but, uh, the one I have is a two-pack. That's why I was holding the, the game down instead of up, uh, is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, uh, I would consider sort of creepy. I think if you're in the right mood, it might be a little creepy, but, uh, I had shown this at 1.2. Uh, what it is, is it's a, uh, it's... It's interesting because it's kind of like uh, three games in one. It's a side-scrolling, uh, sort of like adventure game, like point-and-click, where you have to find items and use them in certain areas to access certain things. You can talk to people and give them items. So there's like a role-playing type scene. There's an isometric 
type view where you walk around, go to different towns, you know, stuff like that. And then, I don't know if you saw this in the back of the box, there's kind of a, a clunky uh, Street Fighter-esque fighting one-on-one. -on -one. So when you, when you encounter a monster or something, you fight it one-on-one. -on -one. Um, this is based off the Robert De Niro, you know, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein film. Um, I wouldn't consider either of these games very creepy, but they kind of have a cool atmosphere to them, especially Frankenstein. I really enjoyed that game. I think it's really different. Um, <clears throat> I never beat it, actually, but it's uh, it's different. It's, de it's definitely different than what you would expect from a normal, like, uh, you know, Frankenstein game. You think, might think it's like, you know, a side-scrolling beat-em-up. They added some different elements to that. And finally, what I would consider probably the, the best horror game or the creepiest one, even though you don't technically encounter anything monster-wise that kills you, but you do encounter, um, you know, traps that kill you, kind of like D. If you ever played D on the Saturn 3DO PS1, um, <clears throat> my friend Angelo from Pennsylvania uh, had ran through this game in I think like 20 or 30 minutes with me. He just speed ran through it, which was great. Um, this is Mansion of the Hidden Souls. Uh, they just covered this on Hard for Games, which is another one of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, the FMV, for its time, I thought was really nice and really creepy. Now it doesn't look so great compared to, you know, clear, crystal clear FMV. Um, this game has a minor story I've told a million times behind it. Uh, my friend was looking for Echo the Dolphin on Sega CD, and I ended up picking him up this because they didn't have Echo the Dolphin because the Sega CD, I guess, had either, I think had died at that point, and they were just selling off, like, whatever they had left. And I gave him this, and he was really creeped out by it. Um, I don't think he beat it. I think I beat it once with a walkthrough. Um, it's pretty cool, though. I, I think um, for its time, it was very interesting. And everyone thinks that the Mansion of the Hidden Souls on the Saturn is the same game upgraded. It's not. Mansion of the Hidden Souls is the Sega CD game. The sequel is The Mansion of the Hidden Souls on the Saturn. It's a similar story, I believe, but... Um, in the game, one of the creepy aspects is there's butterflies that people's souls went into, and they fly around this huge mansion, and they talk to you. And you have this very, this very, um, I would say, big feeling of like loneliness, like, a, like a, you're, you're very much kind of by yourself. Um, and uh, anyhow, in the other one, it's like these floating heads, and I heard it wasn't as good. Um, I actually forgot one of the games I was going to mention. I should have mentioned this before I mentioned Mansion and Souls, but I don't have a case for it, so that's why I'm going to throw it in last. Uh, one of the final horror games, which I guess, horror, um, I don't have a case where I have two copies of this game, uh, but I don't have the case for either, so it kind of sucks. If you have one and you want to donate it, let me know, I'd love it. Um, Dracula Unleashed. This is, uh, is very reminiscent of the Bram Stoker's Dracula movie. Um, it's an FMV title where, uh, not very action-oriented, Kind it's, it's very similar to Sherlock Holmes on the Sega CD, if you've played that. You have to go to certain places at certain times. You're Jonathan Harker. You're in town. You have to find certain items, talk to certain people, access certain places, and then go there at certain times. And if you make it in certain places at certain times and then have certain items on you, it triggers events that change depending on what, you're ha what you have in your inventory. And uh, it was pretty cool. You know, a little, little bit of a creepy dark element to it, but not scary by any means, but a fun little FMV adventure. But uh, if you really want my two favorites... Uh, I mean, I love Night Trap, I love Corpse Killer, but if you want to go for like a horror type feeling, I'd probably go with Mansion of Hidden Souls and uh, Bram Stoker's Dragon. It's pretty dark and Frankenstein's kind of creepy in a way. So uh, that's really it. I hope you, you like my little sp special or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I, I love these games. I think they're all great and fun in their own way, even though you would say some of them might not have aged well, especially because the Sega CD FMV is grainy and kind of compressed. So, uh... Hopefully you enjoy what you saw. Have a happy, happy Halloween. Safe, uh, you know, a safe time with your family. So, thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com. Be good. Sega.